distance from a point. Determine the distance from the point P to the line with the equation x, y, z equals to 1, 2, minus 1 plus t, 0, 1, 1. Also find the coordinates of the point on the line that produces minimum distance. Okay. Now, let's try to understand this problem. Let's say that the given line is kind of like this. Okay. So that's the line which we're talking about and which has a direction of 0, 1, 1, right? So here M is 0, 1, 1, okay? So that's the line given to us and, and a point is given to us and let's say the point is P which is kind of here. So, and the point is, let me write P and the value of the point is minus 1 the coordinates of the point are minus 1 and 6. That's the point, right? Now, to find the shortest distance, we need to find a point on the line uh, which is which makes right angles with this line, correct? What I'm trying to say is we need to find a point which should be like here so that you get 90 degrees angle here, right? So we need this point Q here, right? Now, how can we get Q? So what we will do is we will just assume some point on the line. And let's say the point on the line is general point, any any particular point. And let's call that point in general Q dash. So, so that Q dash will have the parameter T in it. Correct? So we'll find PQ and do dot product of PQ with the direction vector of the line M and equate it to zero. Once we equate and get T, so that value of t will give us actual q which makes the shortest distance, correct? So that is the way we are going to do it. So let's find this q dash. So q dash in general will be, the x value will be equal to 1 plus 0 t, so we can say 1, right? And y value is equal to 2 plus t, this is 2 plus t. And the z value is equals to minus 1 plus t. So that is our point Q. Now, what is going to be PQ dash dot M? So that is what we are interested in, right? PQ dash dot M. That should be 0, right? So this should be 0 for us to get the point which will give us the shortest distance, right? So P Q dash and Q is here and P is this point, right? So we'll say P Q dash is actually 1 minus minus 1. So 1 minus minus 1. Let's write P point for us where P is given to us as minus 1, 1 and 6, right? Right. And that is the Q dash. So, so we'll say 1 minus minus 1 will give us plus 1, right? That's the x coordinate, the x direction number. And then this will be 2 plus t minus 1. That's the y direction number. And then we have minus 1 plus t minus 6, the z direction number, right? Dot m. m is given to us 0, 1, 1, right? 0, 1, and 1. Bracket those. Oh, that's bracket is not required. So we have this and dot product with them. This is our m. This is pq dash. Correct? Now once we do that, if you multiply by 0, that term is going to be 0, right? So let me just write 0 here. Now with 1, we get 2 plus t minus 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. So let me write 1 plus t here. And with 1, we get minus 1 minus 6 is minus 7. So write minus 7 plus t. And this is equal to, this should be equal to 0, right? This should be equal to 0 for us to get a perpendicular line, right? So from here we can solve for t. So which is 7 and this is, t is 2, right? So we get uh, minus 7 plus 1 is 6, right? So we get here, 6 plus 2t equals to 0 or minus 
sorry, minus 6. Minus 7 plus 1 is minus 6. And when we bring 6 here, divide by 2, so we get 3 equals to t, right? So that's the value of t for us. Now, if t is 3, we know what our point is going to be, right? So we will use these points, and from here, we will plug t equals to 3, right? And then find our points. If t is 3, then x is equal to 1, y is equal to 2 plus 3, which is 5, and z is equal to minus 1 plus 3, which is 2. So these are the coordinates of point Q, right? So this Q we found to be 1, 5, and 2. That's the coordinates of the point on the line that produces minimum distance. So we have done this part, right? And now let's find the distance from P to Q. We'll use the distance formula, right? P, Q. So we can do it here. So let me just make some room for distance, right? So now we'll say distance. That means we are finding distance P, Q, right? So that's the point Q and this is the point P. So absolute value of our distance P, Q is equal to square root of so we can get this minus this, which is, let me write, 1 plus 1 whole square, plus 5 minus 1 whole square, plus 2 minus 6 whole square, square root, correct? So that gives us 2 square is 4, and then this is 4 square is 16, and this is minus 4 square is, again, 16, right? So that gives us... 4 plus 16 uh, plus 16 and uh, now you can calculate this house 20 plus that's good number right 20 plus 16 is 36 and that is 6 well that helps because I don't have calculator present so I'm glad we got a round number here so the distance for us is 6 units right if no units are given it's good to write units correct six units is the shortest distance between the given point and the line i hope you appreciate the method of doing it we took very simple numbers this time to do it sometimes you get fractions and it's like very tedious to do those kinds of problems without calculator anyway if you get fractions use calculators and that'll be better for you thank you